Good afternoon, everyone. It is Tuesday, August 11th. Um, we, uh, looking at XLE, we hit the mark that I mentioned yesterday. We, we actually took out two of the price targets. We got above the 38.55, and we also closed the 39.29. Um, so basically, looks like we were... Uh, and on the on the verge of closing this ABC up uh, that started on July 10th uh, and confirmed on July 21st uh, which never actually ran the full uh, ABC up because basically the A to B equals the C to D and uh, we actually didn't even hit it today. We came close, but we only went up to 39.53, and the A to B, the the D point is at 39.55. Now, if you look over here, it's uh, the low is 34.24, the high is 37.74, so that's 350. All right, let's do that again. Uh, 34.24. 350 so 350 added to 36.05 is 39.55 we just barely missed it it will hit the 39.55 uh, but the XLE likes to frustrate the traders uh, especially those that haven't been trading it for a while so um, okay so for the next few days you know, it could get a little funky here. Um, we got a cross over here of the 50 and the uh, um, and the 10 day moving average. And also we're quite a ways from the uh, 200 moving average on the daily side. So I'm, I'm thinking this is gonna go up. This is gonna go close these gaps over here at 4288, um, 4510, and also uh, 46.86. I think that's where it is going to eventually go. And the next three weeks, by the end of August, it'll go there. And basically, uh, it is going to, it should close, by the end of August, it should close above the 46.88 point price target because as you can see, the 200 and the 50 moving out, the 50 moving average is about to cross the 200 moving average, which will signal a bear, that's a bear signal right there. Uh, so typically what happens is it'll come close to that mark it'll trade up towards it and then after the cross which will be in september uh we'll see if it's a false if it'll if it'll keep climbing higher it needs to have a lot of significant upswing from now until then before september by the end of august uh in order to uh keep climbing but my my thinking is that eventually It'll get up here to this 46.88 level, but it won't have enough uh, force to break more topside. And eventually it will come down and close that bottom at 23.57. So this is a really good, the way it's all setting up is really nice. Um, this is an opportunity for me to close my ERX or start taking profit of ERX which I almost turned green today. Uh, take some profit and then just pump it into ERY as, uh, as it starts to get close to this 46.88 mark. That's, uh, that's my target. So um, we'll see how tomorrow shapes up. It's still got to hit the 39.55 price target to fully complete that ABC up that was established on July 21st. So um, we'll see what tomorrow does. A little more information uh, will clear the fuzziness. Ideally, I want this to go close that 2357 gap uh, that was established back on 
What day is this? Uh, March 23rd. That's what I want. And then it's uh, and then you just ride it up on ERX. Once it cl- hits that, it assuming it goes down there really quickly and then just bounces back, you just ride ERX for I don't know. It could be years, months at least. Uh, or, and um, that would be a good entry point for ERX at that point. So again, right now I'm just looking to a quick pop to uh, get to the forty-six dollar mark. Sell some ERX for profit. This is my positions. Sell some ERX for profit and then rebalance it back into ERY. Start purchasing some ERY as it's, as it gets uh, cheaper. All right? That's it. See you tomorrow. Happy trading.